Hello folks, today we are going to talk about an interesting service called Parameter Store. It is part of the Amazon System Service Manager or SSM group of services that Amazon offers. So today we will see what is this Parameter Store and how you can use it in your account to leverage the new service that is provided by the Amazon. So what exactly is it? In short, it is a vault in the cloud that is provided by Amazon. It provides you an centralized management of your passwords of your secrets of your endpoints that you want to store it in a centralized way have tags for them and then have a version history of when it was changed and you can safely reuse them in your scripts or with your third party partners and provide them fine grained access control how does it do all these things let us go and see the different features offered by parameter store so when you're talking about a parameter store it's takes a very familiar format that we know it is takes the tagging format that is it it will have a key and will also have a value say for example a simple parameter will be like my linux ami id equal to abc1234 so that will be my golden ami which all my scripts will be using so this is the format a parameter store takes and how can i secure this parameter say for example a golden ami might not be a secure thing but for example if i have a database password and i want to store it as a parameter and reuse it in my scripts how do i ensure that my database password is not being misused or being accessed by other people so for that what parameter store offers is you can encrypt the parameters that is stored in your parameter store you can use your keys that is custom keys or you can use the amazon native keys that is provided to you so this way you can ensure that all the secrets that are stored in parameter store are in encrypted format and you can securely decrypt them for only certain people with access to those keys so that is how you so store your secrets in the cloud what are the next service that is offered by amazon the most important thing is it is not a one-time usage you can go ahead and start using them in all your scripts or automation templates for example lambda functions or in cloud formation or in your apis so that you can keep reusing those values for example you will have an api key that is mentioned in your parameter which will be used by your Lambda functions to make some calls to other uh, Lambda functions or other third party APIs. Or you might have your version control mechanisms and the version numbers of your application stored in your parameter store and the Lambdas or your applications might use them. Another common example is the golden AMI, which will be stored in parameter store and CloudFormation will go ahead and pick the golden AMI ID and every time a new template is launched, you will be getting the latest VM based on the latest code and AMI parameter that you have. But how do you control access to that? Parameter store allows you to have an IAM policy, which will be able to give fine grained control to say, for example, user A will have access to only my API keys, whereas my dev engineers or my database administrators will have only access to view the keys or not modify them. Whereas my system monitoring team will not have any access or any levels of privileges on my parameter store. So these are the different functionalities offered by parameter store. In addition to that, there is an interesting way of storing the values in parameter store. That is, it is called as nested keys. For example, here, your top level key can be called as my databases. And under that, you can have three different categories. For example, let us starting with on the left hand side, there is an Oracle database and under Oracle, you can have different parameters, say, for example, your dev01 password and then the database test23 password and also a production database password. Likewise, you have databases for MySQL and MSSQL as well. And the passwords for those databases also can be stored in a nested structure so that you can go ahead and easily access them in your scripts by knowing the hierarchy of your parameters. So that is how you use parameters in your account. In the next video, we will go ahead and see how to add them using a CLI and then also with the GUI and see how we can modify them, tag them and have management control over them. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.